Final score tonight inside Castle Coliseum. Virginia Tech gets the win 67-51 over the Rutgers Scarlet Knights. Coach, congratulations. What did you tell the group post game? Well, I, I told them I was very proud of them. Yeah. We came out and uh, we executed the game plan, particularly in the second half. Uh, you know, I thought it was a team effort. You know, it's something that we stressed earlier today. Uh, I talked to the kids. You know, it's not about individual glory. It's not about, you know, one person doing one thing. Uh, it, it's all about team. And it really ma doesn't matter what you do individually or you know, whatever happens. If you don't win and celebrate those successes, you know, no one really remembers, you know, what you're going to do. And this team is, they have the ability to be special. They really do. But I think it's going to be a team effort that's going to get us there, you know, to win games like this. And I thought we played well, extremely well together. Uh, we're not all the way there. It wasn't a, a pretty, pretty game, but it's the way that uh, Rutgers makes you play. Yeah. And I thought we, uh, we were able to come out and play their game and beat them doing so. And uh, so I'm very proud of the kids. I thought they were extremely tough. A lot of kids stepped up and did some wonderful things, but uh, it was just a team effort. And uh, if we continue to do that, I think we have the ability and the chance and the opportunity to get better. All right, let's talk about the way that Rutgers plays with that size, with that depth, with the aggressiveness. What stood out to you in your eyes that allowed you to handle that as a team tonight? Well, they have so many. And, uh, and you know, sometimes I just wanted to look down there and say, hey, can I borrow one? Yeah. You know, uh, but... They, they, they come at you in waves, uh, but I thought our kids were resilient. They understood it. We were tough. You know, that was the thing. You know, led by uh, Reagan McGarity. Uh, Reagan was tremendous underneath. Uh, just her ability to rebound, her toughness, and what she does, it becomes contagious after a while. You know, then Trinity, I thought Trinity needed a little while to get going and, and to understand the, uh, the speed of the game. Uh, she did. She adjusted at halftime. She was really good. Uh, and then, you know, I thought Kendall got, did a good job of getting us going early. Uh, Taylor, I thought, would play one of her best games that I've seen her play. And uh, she was she was hampered by foul trouble in the beginning, but I thought even in the first half, she made all the right plays. You know, she, you know, distributed the basketball. She made them foul her. She came off screens the right way. She wasn't hesitant. And when she's playing like that, I've, t I've told her several times this year, when she's hesitant, it throws me off mm. because our game plan a lot kind of goes through her and in her ability to come off screens and hit the little pull-up jump shot, come off the screens and hit the three. And when she becomes hesitant and doesn't run those options, then it kind of throws me off. Tonight she did them, and she did it very well. And uh, we played through her on the offensive end. Uh, but we just got contributions. I thought Dara, you know, Dara's in a, on a learning curve right now because she's a freshman, you know, playing against, you know, a BCS program like Rutgers, storied program, the athleticism. I thought she did a good job offensively, getting us where we needed to go. She didn't really shoot the ball extremely well, um, but I know she'll make those shots. And uh, and so it was just a team effort. You know, so many people, Rachel Camp was tremendous. She gutted it out. You know, people just don't understand the fight that Rachel was giving us right now and, uh, and just playing, you know, through some pain. You know, we've got one more game uh, in a little while, uh, I think next week, and then we head off to exams, and it's going to be much needed rest for her. Uh, as she tries to shore up her uh, her body for the uh, second half run. I want to circle back to Reagan McGarity and the fact that you brought up the rebounding down low, but how about the defense as well? Rutgers really wanted to run through those post players. The first half they did all right. In the second half, she seemed to do a really nice job on whoever it was. What was the key to her success in slowing down some of the post success for Rutgers in the second half? She's so smart. You know, like I've said it before, she's uh, you know arguably the smartest player that I've ever coached, and she understands angles, speed, what she needs to do to get here, to get there. Um, but uh, what's underrated and people don't understand so much, she is a tremendous help defender. Uh, she erases so many mistakes that some of our players might make because she just understands it. She gets there, and not only does she get there, but she rotates back into position, and then she'll get the rebound. And what she does is short of remarkable, and it's just like, I, I mean, it makes our defense okay. You know, we're not stellar. We're not, we're not, you know, one of the best defenders, defensive teams in the country. But she makes us, you know, very, very, you know, very good on that end. And uh, it's just really underrated. You know, when, when she doesn't make, you know, all defensive teams, I think it's because you got, you got uh, talking heads or uh, announcers. Uh, People who, look at steals. Yeah, People steals look at the stats. And the rebounds and yeah. the this and the that. And what they don't understand is that she really erases a lot of our mistakes because of her help side defense. And then I wanted to circle back to Emery as well, because one thing that you and I talked about before the game is, oh, we say the points may be a little bit down to start the season. Why is that? Well, she hasn't gotten to the free throw line, but tonight she got back to the free throw line, seven for nine for Emery from the charity strike. Well, you know, the last two games, you know, you look at it, uh, the last game I think she was 10 for 10. You know, so the last two games she's gotten, you know, 19 free throws, and it's kind of more of what 
uh, her game is and playing through it. And it's because she hasn't been hesitant. As I mentioned before, she's starting to run through screens uh, instead of like hiding behind them. And uh, she's got to be aggressive like that. And you know, she's such a great free throw shooter that you know usually you feel like when she steps up to the line, it's going to be two two points. Uh, but she did a tremendous job for us tonight, all all the way around. I thought she was really good. And I think it's because, you know, Taylor, Taylor's a uh, perfectionist. You know, she wants everything to be perfect. And uh, it's kind of hard, you know, as a coach, as a mentor, to tell uh, a kid that you're not going to be perfect. And, you know, and we don't want them to stop striving for perfection. But you have to understand that, you know, if you don't get it and you come close to it, that's still really, really good. And But Taylor is, you know, wants everything to be a certain way, the exact way. And she has to understand that, you know, sometimes it's going to be good. Sometimes she's going to uh, – almost get there and when she almost gets there they know it's still great and so uh, very just very proud of her you know she kind of took a little bit of the pressure off of herself and just came out and played and played well all right last question for you coach in the past week the Hokies have taken down two pretty notable programs with Villanova and Rutgers it's all about gaining confidence it's all about bringing the group together what did those wins specifically because of the logos do for the confidence of the group moving forward well um, you know this time of the year you know you schedule people and and you schedule based off of, you know, their history or what they've done. Uh, you know, we've, we've had some wins that we felt like were pretty good, but, you know, the team maybe hasn't done as well. I think these two teams will do well. You know, they'll do, they'll do well. They're, they're extremely well coached. Uh, you know, Vivian Stringer is a Hall of Famer. Harry Peretta, I think, is a Hall of Famer. Uh, if he's not, he's, but he's bound to be. Yeah. Uh, you know, so it, it's just it, it's really good for our program because we came out you know, uh, name brand, uh, but we also know that we can play with anyone, and uh, and that showed it. And I think it will bode well for our resume as we continue on. But uh, very proud of the kids because these are two hard, you know, hard games, you know, very contrasting in their styles. You know, Villanova is a, you know, spread it out, and they want to and I want to do some filler cuts and, you know, backdoor cuts where, you know, Rutgers is going to try to, you know, just come right at you and you run right over you. And uh, but our kids really handle both situations really well. And uh, I think we're proving that we can do a lot of different things and play a lot of different ways. And uh, in order to be successful, you have to be able to adapt and, uh, and play both ways. So I was very, very proud, you know, of the kids where they played the last few days. Coach, congratulations. Tech with the win, 67-51 over Rutgers. And the Hokies pick up a point for the ACC and the ACC Big Ten Challenge.